What what would you say your favorite your favorite moment or your favorite game that you played in the Syracuse uniform? Uh jeez. Uh I probably say I think my my senior year when we played Duke. When we played um, that was our first time block a charge. <laughs> that, that game? No, not that game. It was the oh, okay. it was the time. We're gonna get to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get the it's the time before that. This is uh okay. we played them at the dome. This is that first time coming to the dome. This is our first okay. meeting. You know, my senior year was the first year we went to the ACC. So this is yeah. our first first meeting. So uh, yeah, they come to the dome and uh they got Jabari Parker, Rodney Hood, Quinn Cook, uh, they got Tyler Thornton, and uh they had a couple Rashid Suleiman, they, they had a yeah, tough yeah, little yeah. squad. Yeah. Uh Emil Jefferson. Um and um yeah, it was that game lived up to the hype, man. And like it was going back and forth, back and forth. And like I remember, I just remember always making like a big shot, big play that game. And um we be, end up beating them. Yeah, in overtime. We beat them in overtime. You know, that that kind of that felt good. And um we just, you know, let the ACC know like, you know, Syracuse is here and like we, we about to really re- like run the ACC. So uh and then you know Mike Shesky he gave me good praise after the game and uh so you know that that was a, a good feeling right there. So so we'll go back to the to the one that Duke man the the famous the famous charge call that was really a really a block coach sold that jacket and all that for like twenty racks and all that man what yeah so what was it was it a block or a charge it was definitely a block you know uh, no doubt it was a block it was no doubt a block especially that. Late in the game. So run me through the joint. Run me through the whole little, the last little possession. Uh, I mean, I, if I remember correctly, I think I think Tyler passed me the ball. I was on the left wing. And, um, yeah, they had somebody guard me. Some some guard I ripped through, ripped left, going baseline. And, um, all right, so, so not – all right, so we was down – we was down two, I think, with, like, less than a minute to go. We was down two. So I get the ball and I rip left going to the basket. And um, it seemed like I had like a, a clear lane. And then I just, then Rodney Hood just stepped in front of me and like took the charge. Like I made the layup too. I made the layup. Yeah, yeah. And like my momentum <laughs> kept me going forward where I didn't even know they called a charge until I seen like, you know, out the right of my eye, like coach going off and all this stuff. Uh <laughs> it was crazy. Like I never seen Coach act like that before in my life, and uh, he going off, he going crazy, and uh, I seen the coach was trying to stop him, but you know he he was already he was he was pissed, and uh, you know you could yeah. tell he he really wanted that win just like us, and um, so yeah, they gave him two texts and injected him, and uh, it's crazy. Like after the game, you know after we lost. You know, emotion still high because we thought, you know, we got cheated. And I remember a report, I don't remember which report it was, but like I felt like <laughs> I felt like I got set up. I felt like they misconstrued my words. Yeah. Um, so they was asking me, uh, if Bayham doesn't get those two texts, do I think we uh have a chance to win or do we win or something like that? And I was just mad. I was in the moment <laughs> and I said like. I'm like, yeah, if, if he don't get those uh two texts, that's for free those right there. So so you do the math. <laughs> like <laughs> so, oh, so yeah, so so then I just see, <laughs> I just see later that day, I'm in a I'm on like the ESPN ticket or something, like basically basically say I'm throwing coach on the bus. Like if, if coach don't get them texts, we win the game. Like and like just really flip my words. Like I didn't mean it like that. I was just right, you know, it caught me at a bad time and like and I was just I remember we had to uh, fly straight to Maryland from that game. And, like, I remember just avoiding Coach. I didn't want to see him. I didn't want to look him in his eyes or nothing because I was like, damn, I, you know, he read everything. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I hope he don't. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, man, I, I don't know how he feeling. So I was just avoiding him. And then he uh, – I remember we was about to practice, and uh, he came up to me, and uh, he kind of, like, broke the ice. And he was saying, you know, he, you know, I didn't mean it like that and things like that. And – uh so you know that 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 was a, that was a good feeling, you know, because because he he know my heart, he he know I wouldn't you know say nothing bad about him like that, yeah. stuff. but uh, but yeah, man, they they they, they got one from us, man, because they definitely cheated. That was definitely a block, and um, man, it's crazy. Like 
the fans, they don't like that down to this day. I still get mentions about that every like every day. Oh yeah, it's memes and all type of stuff. You already know. Yeah, that was my first uh, million view uh, video. I remember it was on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it was on YouTube because Coach was going crazy. Like, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. It's funny. Like, I, I remember, uh, you know, talking to my, you know, being in uh, group chats with my friends around around the city and stuff like that, and like them using a meme in like different situations and text and stuff. So it's funny to see like that that meme that Jeff still be going around. <laughs> I mean, that was a big time game too, bro. Shashevsky, Bayheim, like, you, you know, it was the first year in the ACC. So they already had some, you know, some going on. So hell yeah, that's going to make his rounds. That meme was, that meme is, is in Syracuse royalty. You yeah, know it's, I mean? legendary. it's crazy. I was just talking to, um, you know, uh, Neil Gold, he bought that uh, jersey. And, and all yeah, the yeah. Stuff. I was just talking to Neil uh, probably like a week or so ago, and uh, he sent me pictures of it. I told him to come to his house. I'm uh, I'm, I'm gonna put the jacket on. <laughs> he in the queues, right? Yeah, yeah, that's me. When you get down here, you already know. Mm. So what? So what? You you see? I I know how coach is, but I don't think coach. And, and I might be wrong, but I don't th think coach was really yelling at you like that because you ain't that type of dude. Like you ain't gotta yell at you. Oh you yeah, yeah. Nah, coach. Honestly, yeah, I think I, I made it. I made it through my four years without being on coach bad side. I like, could I could tell though. I, I already know what type of dudes like he get on. Like and he if he if if you gonna do what you do, like you consistent, he not, he not yeah. really messing with you like that. Like yeah, he knew what he's gonna get from me. And then like right. he knew he ain't he ain't need to yell at me to put a you know a fire under me to like get right. Me right. I'm you know, I'm always bring the energy and stuff like that. And um, but yeah, it was I had some teammates I used to feel bad, man. Like I remember, I don't remember what year it was, but when, when Rock Came to school, man. He, <laughs> he should let Rock have it, and I just like, damn, like it wasn't even his fault, Coach. <laughs> like it didn't matter. Like it didn't matter who fault it was. Rock is on you. Like so, you know, he always got his one or two players that he's just gonna let have it, and like, and I think that's kind of you know him building players up. You know, some 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 people can handle, some people can't. You know, yeah. um, but yeah, yeah, I think like. He never was like on me too too heavy. Uh, you know, of course, of course, like every player, you make mistakes and stuff, he gonna let you have it. Uh I remember, I think it was, I don't know, sophomore. It might have been sophomore year, I think. Like, I remember I missed a shot. I missed a jumper or something. <laughs> he told me, don't ever shoot a jumper ever again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he said, you should never jump, but you'll never play again. And like, I remember him time, I'm like, damn, like, I. Like how I'm supposed to how I'm supposed to go out there and hoop like <laughs> and uh but you know I, I remember I think it was uh Coach Ray he was saying like you know you you still gotta go out there and be aggressive and like yeah. you know you you live with, you know you live with the results and and I still went out there you know play my game be aggressive of course like I missed some shots but I, I made sure I make that next shot though <laughs> you had to make the next one and then um so you know I. I always kept confidence in coach. Like he, he always knew he could depend on me, and I, and uh, you know, I never did too much on court. I never did things I couldn't do. You know, I wasn't out there trying things. Like I was always, you know, consistent, and you know, you could count on. I, I knew one thing about coach is he, he was gonna yell at you. He was gonna see how you was gonna react to it. Either you was gonna shell up, or you was gonna take it like, all right. I'll show, I'll show this motherfucker real quick. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah. that's how I took it. Like I was, I took it like, man, all right, I'm about to go out here and bust the ass. Another dude might take it like, you know, he might go like personally. Now he's shelling up type shit. But like that's coach ain't gonna switch it up for you. Like either that's what he how he is yeah. now. Now you gotta adapt. Like that's how you you gotta handle. It. Like he a hall of famer. He ain't. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's not a player, is. man. He been through it, man. But yeah, that, that's how it was. Like you know. Even growing up, like I was used to, you know, coaches leaning on me and stuff like that. So, you know, I I was taught to not take it take it to heart, and, you know. Uh, and you know, sometimes players need that when they need somebody to like yell at them, like you know, get them going, even from a coach or a player and stuff like that. And um, but yeah, yeah, if you're not mentally tough and you think and he literally don't like you, then it's gonna be it's gonna be a hard hard time for you. That's a fact. What what's your favorite Coach Beheim story slash moment? Like locker room, like where you just 
he going at somebody and you like, damn, he said some shit like that. <laughs> like, I know you got one because everybody got one. I'm trying to say. Like, damn, know. he said that shit. Like, he, he talking to you like that? Damn, right? Yeah, he said he said be on rock ass, man. Damn, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, I don't remember exactly what he used to say though, but uh she the fo- like the moment like it ain't like just a moment where you be like where it was funny as shit, where you like, damn coach, you coach is wild right now. I I remember this is my I be getting these years confused now. Getting up there. It was you were like, it's probably sophomore year. Could have been junior. I'm not I, probably sophomore year. Sophomore junior year. Um uh you know, you know Brandon, uh <laughs> he was just wild, man. He was he's one of those walk ons where if he ain't, if we go on the team out, he don't play, he mad. Like <laughs> he throwing, Dang, okay. <laughs> he throwing fits. Like I remember him really being mad and stuff. And um, but but yeah, he used to uh you know, he used to go real hard in practice. I remember one time it was like a loose ball. And uh, we playing, we probably playing front five or half court or something like that. It's a loose ball and it's heading towards Bayhan Way. <laughs> and like Reese is hawking it down. And like uh, he end up just like running over Coach and like <laughs> <laughs> and Coach ended up breaking his breaking his finger or his hand or something. Oh. And like I remember him just getting up, just cussing, like <laughs> And cussing at Reese, like that shit was hilarious, man. And like, and to this day, I don't know if Reese did that on purpose or not. Like, you never know with Reese. And like, but like, it like when Coach got up, Coach was so mad, like he got up hot, and like that that shit was funny. And like, I think another time, like he used to, uh, whenever we had huddles, like before, you know, start or in practice, like. You know, James, James a little, he, he a little off sometimes. <laughs> and, like, and James, he used to always like, you know, he can't sit still. So he walking around coach while he talking and stuff. And like coach, he's just real uncomfortable. And like, he just, he just cursed James out. And like, basically saying like, like James, like we had to have an order where James could never, could never stand behind coach while he talking. Cause like coach hated that shit. 